PTV Sports presents Egan High School Wildcat Hockey. Tonight, the Wildcats take on the Lakeville South Cougars. Timmy! No. Hey, welcome to Egan Arena for this matchup between Lakeville South Cougars and the Egan Wildcats. Joining me now is Mark Barger. Mark, how do you feel about this game coming up? You know what, uh, Tony, this is gonna be a good game. This is uh, two, two top teams in the South Suburban Conference. They're doing the lineups now here, but uh, Lakeville's kind of added a number the last couple of years. We got a couple of ties, but they're the defending champs. We got to go at them. We've got a good start, though. We beat a uh, good Hopkins team, and we beat a good Maple Grove team, so we got a good start here. We got to keep focused here, though, because uh, we need we need this one. This will this will get us going into the South Suburban Conference, and we need to beat these guys. We haven't done it for a couple of years, so All right. this now, will be a good one. Who should we really look out for on that Lakeville South team? Well, the, the Emily Fischler's their big gunner. She's got she had uh, thirty some points last year. She's kind of their gunner. They lost a couple of players, but they're solid. They're solid three lines. Their defense is good. They're very well coached. Um, they're just, they don't have superstars, but they're just deep all the way through. Okay. Hey, we're gonna join us here for the national anthem. we have it, the national anthem. I can hear you a little better now. So Mark, what are we gonna look for from Egan? Well, what I've noticed, what I've liked to see, in the, what I have seen in the first couple of games is our centers are staying down low this year. I don't know if Dan's changed his mode, but they're not leaving the zone, they're staying down low, they're helping out our defense, and it's helping out our breakouts. A lot of time last year, we'd fly the zone, the defense come around the corner, they, they, we had our wing and no outlets to go. What I've noticed this year so far is, is our wings have been down low, and on the offensive side, we've been feeding our points. Our defense are, are the strength of this team. We've got three senior defensemen, and Brooke Polinski's been playing since his eighth grade. She's a junior, but she's been playing since his eighth grade, so we're rock solid back in our D, and we should be using those guys. And when you feed the points like that, it, it, it pulls their forwards out and it gives more room for our forwards to, to cycle down low. So I like what I've seen so far. It's, it's been a team effort. It's only two games into the seasons. This should be a good game though. It's, it's Let's Play Hockey's got them, us ranked 17th, them 18th. So we'll see what we'll see how it goes. A real good test. Yes, and they, they, they won the South Suburban Conference last year. They're the number one seed in section one. Farmington upset them. Um, it's always good, you know. We've, we've known these guys, we've been playing them since we're U8s. A lot of the same names, same faces, so it's just who wants it more. You, you gotta dig deep here, so. Um, it looks like Taylor Anderson's line will be starting it. This has been this is their top line. You know, Taylor likes to dance, he likes to go, so we'll see what happens here. All right, here we go. Get ready for the drop of the puck. There's a drop, puck. It's controlled by Egan. They knock it down. Lakeville South controls to pass it up. There's Rees. Reese partners over to Maddie Mason. Maddie Mason gets it up to Jenna Reese. Puck gets knocked down deep, controlling the mid zone. Controlling now, Lakeville South, Lakeville South. They make that long pass, it's picked off. Mason gets back to Reese. Reese takes a look. Reese, captain of this team, captain of the soccer team as well. Back to the point, it just gets past Bella Weaver. Controlled now by Taylor Anderson, the UMD 
player. Here she comes. She's taking a look. Fires it over to Maddie Mason. Mason up to Bella Weaver. Just gets past her and it slips down into the Lakeville South zone. They're waving off the icing. Chasing after it as Weez. Puck goes around. Up the sideboards. Out front. Lakeville trying to break out. Out there now it's Abby Barger controlling at the puck. Weaver. It gets past Weaver. Here comes Lakeville South. In the middle of a change is Egan. Out there is Julie Barger. And Vries knocks the puck up. And Barger controls. Julie Barger wheeling and dealing. She's coming up the side. She crosses the red line. She goes wide. She gets taken into the uh, board. That's, that's and a that's going to yep. be a call. Yep, it's going to be interference. And right off the bat, what's oh, going to be checking? Right yep. off the bat, Egan goes on the power play. Yeah, you, I mean, you can, you, can, you can angle the people out on the boards, but you just can't take the body like that. Not in girls' hockey anyways. Julie went down the side here. She tried to beat her on speed. Girl just took her out. You know that's it, it's not that bad of a play, but it's 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 a checking, and you can't do that in girls' hockey here. So we're gonna have a power player, a uh, number one lines back out here. Let's see yep, if we uh, use our D. Good drop by Taylor, Taylor Anderson there. Or the Perblinski. Brooke takes a look. She goes down in the slot. Taylor Anderson controlling. Oh, she knocks a player down. No call. Ooh, we Coming away with it. Yeah, Ruiz, Ruiz in the corner. Jenna. She tries to get across. Oh, it goes right past Bella Weaver. Over to Freeze. Freeze out. Blinsky. Blinsky with a shot. Big save, right up front was Ruiz looking for the tip. And Lakeville clears the zone. We work in our defense like that. Brooke takes a shot, those forwards gotta go to the net. All, all these goals is the high school lover. If they can see the puck, they're gonna stop it, right? You gotta get traffic in front of their eyes. Absolutely. Oh, Brooke with a bad pass. It gets picked off by Lakeville player in the slot. Coming back to do a little back checking with Jen Ruiz. Right here, this is, this is where Taylor's dangerous, right here. When she gets going, she's zero to 60 in like three right. strides. So she can beat people on speed. Speed kills, here it comes. She cycles. She gets rid of the boards, but she controls the puck. Back to the point. There's Brooke, Pablinski, over to Vries. Vries with a little spinorama. Down deep. She gets it to Jenna. Ruiz in the corner. Over to Vries. Vries looking. She takes a shot. The tip. Oh, oh. And it just goes wide. Weaver with the tip. It just misses. In the corner now. It's Anderson. Anderson out front. Right out front. And there's the nice. Oh, a nice back pass. Door. A little backdoor yep. play. Nice play. Bella just waited there. A little one-foot set shot, right? Taylor, Taylor threw it across the ice. Easy goal for Bella Weaver. Nice play. And Taylor sees the ice. So much of the See, ice. It is. Here it is. They're, they're going to show it. Oh, they were going to show it here. See that little backdoor. Nice play by Bella. Defenseman took the other forward. Little, little nice one-foot set shot. Play. Nice play. Eager goes That's off one need. zip. That's what we need right there. Here comes that second line. We've got the two Barger girls along with Emily Cronkite, the ninth grader. Here comes Barger. Barger drops it down. And Julia picks it up. Julia just loses the puck. Back comes Lakeville South. A little oh, back oh, check in oh, there oh, by oh, Barger. Oh, they got away with one there. Got away with one there. There's Maddie Mason. Mason gets up to Barger. There's a shot. Little things like that right there, Tony. That should have been stick to stick. Maddie put it on Julia's backhand. It's still in our defensive zone. That's on our forehand. We're out of the zone. Nope. Little things like that are what make up the big things in, in games like that. Sure. That should be out of the zone right there. Oh, the pass picked off by Cronkite. Cronkite with the backhand just goes wide. Going in the corner. Lakeville South breaking out. Picked off by Barger. Knocked back in. Here comes Lakeville South. They cross the red line. Cross the blue line. She's all by herself. The shot. Nichols turns it aside. Mason gets it up to Barger from behind. Julia turns. Loses the puck. Lakeville South controls up to the red line and they just dump it in. Going back for it is Mason. Lakeville South controls behind the net. Wide He's open front front of the net. Front the shot. A huge save by Maddie Nichols. And controlling the puck. Oh, getting knocked down is Carly Marsh. In the middle of a change. Oh, that could have been too many men on the ice. Marsh with the puck. Got the third line out there. They've been pretty scrappy the first two games. Tennessee get in there, get in there, Spanna. McKenna. McKinnon racing after it. A little stick work like your old man taught her in North Dakota. Coming away <laughs> with it, it's Lakeville South. They cross the red line. They got a two on two. Over to the side, the shot. Turned away to the side by Nichols. It goes up into the netting. Well, they got the defense kind of kind of mixed up here. They got Kayla with Brooke, unless they're gonna change here. Normally, uh, Brooke and Kayla don't play together. They got Rozak and... Uh, is Rozak and Brooke and then Maddie Mason yeah, and Kayla man, the they, first couple games. Yeah, they change it up a little bit. I know I know uh, Brooke Paplinski's kind of dealing with a little bit of lace bite, a little in, in, inflammation on her, in, her, in her foot, so, and it's really painful. 
Right, here comes Lakeville South using the point. There's a shot from the point. A lot of traffic in front. It goes wide. Coming away with it is Weaver. Weaver gets it up to Ruiz. Ruiz. Turn on. Oh, little wheel and dealing. She goes for the toe drag and just goes wide. Lakeville South with the puck. They try to clear zone. It's picked off by Anderson with a drive and a huge oh. save. And Ruiz gets hit from behind and knocks into the net. Taylor Anderson with a huge shot right in the slot. Yeah, maybe we'll see that again there. She just read that. We're going to get a replay on that. She just read that, read the eyes of the defense. Here it is. Bombs away. Our forward should have went in front of the goalie, and she, she skated to the side. That yep. was Bella. Bella, should, when she realized that Taylor had the puck there, you go to the goalie. Well, you can't blame Bella Weaver to get out of the way of her shots. <laughs> I don't blame her there. Here comes Lakeville South across the blue line. The, the pass, the shot, put away to the side by Maddie Nichols. There's Brooke Kowalski with the puck now. Brooke turns, looks back behind the net. She takes a look. She turns again. Jenna's got to give her an outlet here. There we go. There's Taylor Anderson. Taylor Anderson. Nice play. Across That's good pass out. That's to good Brooke. Kowalski crosses the red line. She drinks it down deep, loses the puck, and late. That should, be, nice. that that should, should be, be icing. Nice. There we go. 1 0 Egan. 11 43 left in this first period. Good start by the Wildcats, 3-3 shots. It's kind of been back and forth. I, I think Lakeville's been uh, forechecking a little harder than us. Got to get her down there and uh, grind away, get it to her points, get some shots. They did change up the D. They got Rozak and Mason together. Let's see what Abby can do with the, uh, with the draw here. Now, where does she want to bring back. that draw to? Well, she's, she's right-handed, so she looks like she's going to Maddie Mason there. Got tied up pretty well, but she comes away with it. It's Julia with a shot. It gets knocked down in front. Lakeville just tries to clear it. Kept in by Mason. Mason the pass to Julie Barger. Shoots it around. Pinch it to Rozak. Good she pinch, does that good quite well. By Rozak. Yep. There, keep it in. Come, keep got, it time, in. got time. Got time. Got the shot. Ah. A little floater. Sometimes those work. A save had to be made by the goalie. Out front. There you go. Good. All right. Here now you got to get back. Now you got to get back. And Emily Cronkite racing back to help out. Lakeville South dumps it in the corner. They control. Oh, and a nice ride out there by Rozak. Lakeville South out front. Oh, they had the short side. Just couldn't pull the handle. In the corner now, Lakeville South gets it back to the point. The quick shot. A lot of there traffic out front. Knocked three down two. by Abby. Three up two. to Julia. Drew Barger. She goes around one player. She's got some speed. She gets short side. Right into the goalie's chest. Well, that's a good shift from the second line there. They had some chances there. I didn't. Abby Barger had it in the defensive zone there. She kind of made the stick check and she missed her. She's got to go through that person. You can't just, you just can't be a stick. You got to go through that offensive person right there. Okay. So tonight at home, are you going to mention these things to Abby and Julie about? I might, I, well? I, I might. I don't like that. That's All that's right. that's defensive hockey. That's important things. Okay. Well, take it easy on them. Okay. Behind <laughs> that, we got that third line, and there's Marsh. Marsh, behind there the net, McKinnon. Oh, oh a great passer. Pinching is Maddie Mason. It gets past her. Lake does. Oh, she just pushed away right through. Oh, we got oh, a two on that? one. The pass, yes. luckily. Good back check there by uh, Carly by, Marsh. Yeah, Carly Marsh came out of her. She, she's got speed to burn. Mm -hmm. She can catch a lot of people like that. South goes around the corner. After is Mason. Mason gets up to Hennessy. Hennessy out front just tries to clear it. Lakeville South just dumps it right back in. There's Rozak with the puck. Rozak up to Hennessy. Hennessy knocks it up to McKinnon and it's picked off by Lakeville South. Here we go. Here we go. McKinnon up to the side. Lakeville South controls. Little saucer pass. Controlled by Ruiz. Jenna over to Rozak. Roll this, be careful. There's See, that's got to be stick to stick right there. There's no reason why she didn't put that on her stick. There's no one on her. There's no one on that defensive player. you got to be sharp right there. That it cost us the zone. And there's a shot. Oh, a little flutter shot. It was deflected there by Rozak. And luckily, Maddie Nichols with a nice save. I'm coming at this as a, as a coach here, Tony, but you know, things like that that drive me nuts because when there's no one on you like that and you miss a pass, you can't do that. You can't do that. It, it's, it's too hard to score goals and it's too hard to break it out to, to make not make the nice pass like that. Oh, I wish at this level. Yeah, but it's it's early like that, but I, I, I things like that drive me nuts. Here comes Weaver. We were the flip cut. Come on, That could have been on, interference Bells. as well, but she comes with it. Good fight. Pushes Good fight her way there. through, gets it down deep. Anderson tried to get it back to Brees, just didn't work out. And there's a point of case right there, Mark. A D to D, the pass over to the the wing at her stick or at her skates. Yep. And we got the puck back. Good. Here comes Lakeville, across the blue line. Brooke is back there. Puck gets shot in the corner. Behind the net, there goes Brooke. Kablinski with it. 
Again, again, wheel. that's got to be on the yeah, stick. Yeah. It was off of Bella's stick, and Lakeville has the puck. Yep. It's the details, Tony. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Oh, that could have been offsides there, but he dumped it down deep. Here's Kaplinski. Knocked down by Lakeville South there. They just dump it right back in. We saw this all game long in the JV game where Lakeville South defense just kept dumping it back in the corner. Here comes Caleb Reese. Reese stops, takes a look. Over to Kaplinski. Brooke takes a look. Just flips it out there. And Lakeville South controls. They cross the blue line. Up the front. And Brooke knocks to the side. That girl just fell on her own. No, no problems there. Taylor Anderson, a dangerous pass across. Here we go. We got Kronk. Come on, Kronk. Come on, Kronk. There's a shot on net. Another Turn it save. Go. Here we go. Let's see. There's yeah. McKinnon. Yep. Over to Julia. Here's Barger. She's going wide. She stops, takes a look, gets it back to Cronkite. Cronkite now goes behind the net. She leaves it for Abby. Abby tries short, comes from behind, it's right up front. There's a free roll. There's Abby on the ice. Or there's Julia on the ice. Good little scramble there. Good little scramble. Julia skated it down, dished it to Cronk. Cronk got it on net. I like to see it. I like to see the grind in like that. We're bringing the Kinder line back on. We're kidding yes. with Hennessy and Marsh. Getting them Just going one, two, three, one, two, three, keep them fresh. 749 left in this first period. Still Egan one. Lakeville South zero. There's the draw. One by Lakeville South. Hennessy in the corner. Hennessy controlling the pack, the puck. Marsh comes in to help out. Lakeville South comes away with it. Back is Maddie Mason. Mason just knocks the puck away. Got a mouth guard down right by the blue line. Lakeville South in the corner. It's Mason. Mason controls. She shoots it around. Racing after is Marsh. Lakeville South there intercept. The puck knocked down by McKinnon. Here comes McKinnon. Oh, it's Getting his own, Savannah. You're one on five here. Across the there red line and dumps yep. it down deep. And we're going to make another change. Bring out that Taylor Anderson line again. Lakeville South bring it up. The defense crosses the red line. Crosses the blue line. Drops it. There's the shot. Right on center. The rebound. And it gets knocked over. A very close call there. Lakeville South back to the point. The quick shot, knocked down in front by Keeler Anderson. She stops. Make a, oh, she tried to do the saucer pass to Bella Weaver. And they're going to call a hand pass. Hand, what? Hand pass it to herself? The Lakeville. Lakeville line, okay, it's all the way down the offensive side. I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't that. see the hand pass either. I think it just, I thought it hit the girl's side, fell down. Yeah, I thought she was just playing. We'll take it though, right? Yeah, well, it's, that's all a right, home so, recall. That's so, what's supposed to happen here in Egan. Looks like Taylor's going to try getting it back to Brooke here. Okay. Doesn't have anybody on the Big draw, Let's see if we can get something out of it. Nice, There's a draw nice. back to Brooke. Fires it around deep. Going after the Ruiz. Yep, Taylor Anderson's there to ride in the boards. Lakeville South trying to clear it. Brooke just punched it. Oh, she missed it. Here one comes Lakeville South on a three, three on, on one. one. Keep the outside, keep the outside. There's a shot and a goal. Liberty Fennig with the short side goal. They came down a three on one. And we're all tied up one apiece. Yeah, I didn't see how that happened. They got th they got three. One of our defensive must have pinched. Uh, Brooke tried to pinch or something. I don't know if they get a replay here. Oh, we just saw the goal. The only thing Keela can do is, is take away the, the, the pass, right? She got to let. Yeah. Just Maddie's, underneath Maddie's Maddie's, Maddie's got to come out a little bit and cut off that angle. There's too much net to shoot at there. But you, you, three on one like that, Keela just tries to try to make them think, make the, the, the farthest out shot you can. And yep. Keela did the best she could, but that girl sniped it. Right. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, one to one. 624 left in this first period. 1-1 one, one now. Here we go. We got Maddie Mason. Oh, to Rosak. There she is. Good, good center breakout. Abby's got to have that. She can't miss that puck like that. Right on her oh, here comes Cronkite. Cronkite on the short side. The save and no rebound. Off to the side. Racing after is Barger. Barger keeps it in. Flips it back. There's Julia. Barger tries to get out front. Out to Abby. It's just sitting there. Back to the point. Mason takes the shot, goes wide. Boy, a lot of stick work being done there by the Lakeville South D. Barger loses the puck and Lakeville South comes away with it. Got a two on two, Lakeville South. They cross the blue line. And nice job by Rozak to push the puck away. South just knocks right back in. They got to touch up. Turn and go, turn and go. There's no one on you. There's a pass up to Julia. Barger loses the puck, but gains it back. 
drives the player with an elbow in the helmet. No call. We're right in front of us here. And Maddie Mason, Order to Rozak. Rozak, gets it up to Marsh. Marsh dumps it in. Now go, now go. Digging after it. The puck clears his own. Gets past Brick Kavlinski. No icing as Kayla Reese controls behind the Egan net. She's taking a look. Turns. Behind Maddie Nichols, over to Brooke Kavlinski. Up to Hennessy. Hennessy pass gets picked off by Lakeville player, and Lakeville just dumps it down, and they're going to change up Better the line. Better for Alyssa to put that behind Carly Marsh and let, Mar let Carly take it off the boards with their speed. Here comes Brooke Kavlinski, racing up the side. She crosses the blue line. Dumps it down deep. Going after McKinnon. Lakeville South now breaking back out. And Hennessy's there to knock it back in, but Lakeville South controls. That's it, Savannah. Here comes Lakeville South on a three on two, right in the slot, and the shot goes wide. Lakeville South out to the point. There's the shot, a lot of traffic out front of Maddie. Good stop by Maddie, good stop by Maddie, kick in the corner. Puckles in the corner. Here we go. Here oh, we here go. comes Kayla Reed. She's got her on She's speed. Got oh. oh, she had her on speed 16, yep. was flat footed there. She could have got that to the outside, Kayla was gone. Here comes Brooke Pavlinski now. Brooke takes a look. She shoots it behind the net to Kayla. She's taking a look. Four minutes left in this first period. Here comes Kayla. Oh, she wants to do it again. Gets a pass up to Taylor Anderson. Inner skates, and it's picked off by Lakeville South. Lakeville South comes across. There's a shot. Knocked down the front by Brooke Pavlinski. Brooke just flips it up. Caught by Lakeville South player. And they just dump it in again. Pushed aside by Nana Nichols. Breeze back to Brooke Pavlinski. Brooke up the middle to Taylor. Taylor gets knocked down, no call. Lake goes South, one play in the slot. Knocked down by Kayla Reese. And here, here comes Jenna Reese. Jenna, she's, she's open, got open. There she goes. Here comes a breakaway. Here comes Come Taylor on. Anderson. The shot. Oh, she went five hole again, and the goalie made the save. Yeah, that's a good stop. Nice, nice speed by Taylor. It's a good outlet pass by Jenna. She had a little bit of pressure on that defenseman. Got, got a little bit, got a, got a piece of her there. But uh, I think Taylor, we're, we're, Went to where she wanted to go. She just didn't hit the hole there. Nice play by that goalie from Lakeville. Yeah, nice Shoot, break we needed that play. one. Yeah, that was a nice play up all around. Here, Here we go. And Lakeville South clears his own. And Mason just knocks right back in. He can touch his up. All right, racing after the here, girls. Let's go. Jenna. A little bit of stick work there. Lakeville South breaking out. Kept in by Taylor Anderson. Here she comes again. Another try. Taylor Anderson, the pass over to Weaver and another goal. <laughs> Taylor Anderson looking up, gives nice it to play. Weaver. Nice, that was a nice play by Taylor Anderson. She kind of, she kind of waited, waited, waited. The goalie committed to her, and she just dished it off over to Bella. Watch this. Just, just threw it waited, over there, and, and Bella Weaver, just nice. Two goals it. for Bella Weaver. And Taylor does that where she waits that extra second. Yep. A lot of players will get panicky. She sucks those people to her, and then she just dished it off. It's a nice play by Taylor. Nice go. job by Bella, too, to bury it. Yep. And now Egan's back up, 2-1. to one. Here we go. Maddie Mason now shooting the puck up. But Emily Cronkite gets past her. Lakeville controls. They cross the red line. Lakeville player up the side, the shot. And Maddie Nichols with the save. All right, now you get a goal. It's important to shift after a goal. You go a little bit harder because you don't want to give it right back, right, Tony? You, you want to, you want to, you want to instill on these girls to go harder after a goal because you don't want to give it up right away. That just takes away all your momentum. Yeah, you look at that big mo. That's huge. Shift after a goal. Here we go. Here's Crockett. A little it. bit behind a Barger, but he gets up to Julia Barger. Here comes Julia racing up the side. She comes through the middle of the puck, sitting there. Abby in the right place takes a shot and a huge save by the goalie. Nice work by the Bargers. They're getting a lot of chances. They just got to bury one of those. That's going to be an icing. Is that icing? It looked like it was a tip. Oh, well, they're saying no, but we can't get all the calls. Yeah, Kayla was trying to turn to board that one over the wing, and she just missed. Good chance there. Nice, nice play by by Taylor. Good play by Abby there. Turnaround shot. She didn't really have a chance to look. She just fired away. Sometimes those go in. Sometimes they don't. You never know. 204 left in this first period. Back out the number one line here. We got two minutes left. Maybe we'll try to get another one here. Maybe three one would be really nice. In the slot. Oh, the just goes wide. A good. lot of traffic in front. Here comes Taylor Anderson. 
Anderson to Weaver. Weaver does a little wheeling and dealing. Here comes Jenna Reese. Taylor's high. Taylor's high. Oh. oh, she does a nice spinorama. In the corner now. Jenna controlling the puck. Weaver intercepts. Behind the net. There's Reese. There's Taylor in front. Tried to get it to her, and Lakeville picked it off. Lakeville really keeps their wings down low. Our defense are wide open if we can feed them. Feed them quick and then go to the net. And a shot on goal with the save by Maddie Nichols. Nine shots on goal for Lakeville South compared to eight to Egan. 9-8, two to one game, this was pretty close. We're gonna keep that first line out there with a minute 28 left in this first period. Let's see if we can't generate a little offense here. It'd be nice if we could get, uh, get one more, but. Lakeville South controls the face off the puck, yes. just goes wild. Maddie you know, Mason, getting up to Weaver. Those defensive zone faceoffs like that, you try to win it, but you can't lose them clean like that because you don't want to get a, give up a shot. So try to win it, but don't lose them. You know, if, if it's a tie, that's fine. Right? If it's just mucked up right in the dot there. And the puck gets driven down to the Lakeville zone. Lakeville. Minute left in this first period. Prokai keeps it in. But Lakeville South comes away with it. Lakeville South on a three on two. The drop pass, there's the shot. A lot of traffic in front. Maddie Nichols out, can't out. see it. Luckily, the puck gets knocked down in front. Lakeville South out in the slot. Here, we go. Here, Here we go. comes Man. Julia Barger. She's got speed. Barger's Julia Barger right to the middle. Oh, she had it. And just knocked away at the last second by the Lakeville player. Abby Barger with some fork checking controls the puck. Abby, back to Julia. Julia taking a look. She spins up the slot, trying to get her over. To Abby. Got 22 seconds here, see if we can't get it in front. Uh, I gotta get back now, gotta get back. Come back, we can't lose one here. And pick the puck up is Maddie Mason. 14 seconds, Mason, be smart here. here. Be smart, here be smart, Cronk, Cronk. there we go. Cronkite, here comes Cronkite, crosses the red line. She dumps it down deep. Two seconds left, and there we go. And the one periods of hockey, Egan two. Lakeville South won. That was, uh, you know, kind of as expected, right? It was. It's two to one game. Shots nine eight. Uh, I don't think. I don't think the Wildcats had the had the intensity tonight, or have the intensity tonight that they did against Maple Girl. It doesn't seem like they're skating hard. They had some nice plays there, but it doesn't seem like they're working on as hard. I mean, they got they got to get it down. It seemed like it was in our zone a little bit more than we had it in their zone. We scored on our opportunities, but they were dropping it down, kind of playing dump and chase, and they had it in our zone, but. All right, we got two and they got one, right? So now what's what's Coach Ant or Coach Wilson gonna say in that uh, locker room? I, I would say we just, we gotta pick up our intensity a little bit. I, I don't I don't see the intensity that that was against Maple Grove. And it might be, you know, you know, two games in uh, in a couple of nights, but uh, this is this is this is Lakeville Salt. This is a conference game. This is huge. So, um, I, you know, you, you can't be, you can't complain. It's two to one, we got, we got the lead, um, but, uh, Maybe a little bit more intensity. What, okay. you, what do you think? I think so too. I think speed kills and you know, it set the tone. If Taylor Anderson is flying down, I think that picks up the rest of the team and everybody kind of follows yep. her lead. Well, Taylor, so. Taylor's gonna make her opportunity. Mm -hmm. She's that good of a player where she can do it herself. Bella's doing a nice job of getting the net, you know, and just tapping them in. She's got two tap in goals, but she's there, right? She did a nice job. All two right, one, two that's one end of the first period. We'll be back in a little bit for the start of the second period. Back for the start of the second period, Egan up two to one. Mark, how do you describe uh, the goal tending by Maddie Nichols in that first period? Maddie Nichols did a nice job. She had, well, she had, uh, you know, eight and odd shots on her. She did a nice job kicking them to the corner. The one did one goal they did score on her. It was a three on one, which is tough. I thought Kayla Vries did a nice job of what she had to do make make the make the players, you know, make the, the worst possible shot or the bad angle shot that she can't kind of keep her to the outside. I think Maddie's got to come out and cut off the angle a little bit there, but uh, that girl sniped it. It was a good shot. Oh, that was a sniper, um, for sure. So, you know, I, I, there's a lot of good things that period. They, they had some chance, a lot of chance there. Going to the net, they were working down low. They made, Taylor made two beautiful passes to Bella. Just put them in. It's just the intensity's got to pick up a little bit. Yeah. And hopefully they talked about that in between the first and second period. Yeah, and I, and I talked to some of the parents here in, in between, and they're all kind of like, yeah, we just don't have the jump that we had a couple nights ago, but we'll see, you know. It's early, it's just one period. 
Well, and they've had four days of school too, so that doesn't, yep. you know, you have school yep. in the mix and hockey yep. during all week long, and it kind of kind of slows you down. But here we go, start of the second period. Right off the bat, here comes Taylor Anderson. Oh, she just lost a puck. I think it, she lost it in the water from the. I mean, you know, that was last game was like that too. They started too early. They didn't let the ice settle. And Lakeville South comes back now. Puck goes into the Egan corner. And we got Maddie Mason. We got Mason and Caleb Rees back out there now, like they did the first couple of games. There's Mason. A little saucer pass up to Anderson. A nice saucer pass. Anderson gets it up to General Rees. Rees goes in the corner. Oh, she tried to get it back to Taylor Anderson. It was knocked down by the Lakeville player. Good Maddie step. Mason. Good step up by Maddie right there. Keep it in the keep it in the live. Keep it down in the offensive zone. In the corner now, Lakeville pushing the puck around. Going after it. It's Bella Weaver. Bella strong keeps it in the corner. Jenna helps out. Louise comes it back. No look pass. Back to Bella Weaver. Weaver in the corner gets behind the there net. Nice to cycle here. Nice cycle down here. Anderson He's wide open. Back to the, the one timer by Maddie Nason. Maddie likes, Maddie likes that slap shot. She likes to crank that up. She's got a good one too. That was, well, she didn't stop that one. She got it right on net. And here comes Lakeville South. Coming across the red line. Caleb Reese driving her player out. Robin's racing. He's holding her. And she knocks her down. And then she knees her and gets away with it. Reese now controlling the puck. Loses it. Lakeville South. She turns. She's in the high slot. Kept behind the net by Lakeville South. Taylor's got to go she's through that player right the there. And she loses the puck. Lakeville South. Oh, a nice kick. Lakeville South controls behind the net. She's looking. Bounce pass to the D. D tries to get it back to her and picked off by Kilo Anderson. Oh. And knocked right back down by Lakeville South. And they just dump it in. Quick, 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 quick. Maddie Mason gets the puck first, but loses it to Lakeville South. Oh, front! Oh, luckily she held up on it. She couldn't handle the quick pass. And Maddie Nichols comes up with the save. Big save by Maddie. Big save by Maddie. That was a nice play by Lakeville. They kind of stole it from uh, Maddie Mason there. Hit the girl right on the post. She one time for Matt, Maddie Nichols there. There. Here, Maddie got beat right there. The girl went boom. Just kind of, kind of, kind of fumbled a little fumbled bit the there. Ball. And Maddie Nichols played the perfectly uh, played the angle. Paco said it. Here comes that line. Here's the Bargers and Cronkite. Julie Barger. Puck gets back back in the corner. Lakeville South controls. Brooke Pavlinski out there with Laura Rozak now. Here it comes in the corner. Coming away with it. It's Abby Barger, captain of the Egan hockey team. Puck in the corner, out front, and tied up at the last second by Rozak. Crockett's pass gets picked off, but she regains it. Knocks it up to Barger. Get, zone, get down there, get down there. got the there. both Bargers going after it. Coming away with it, it's Crockett. Crockett, spin around, but ties it up but down deep. And knocked out front, Lakeville South, across the blue line, the pass across. Right in her stick, couldn't handle it. That was another three on two. Lakeville's had a lot of odd man rushes. I don't know if our center's getting caught deep or what, but they got Back a to the lot point. of odd man rushes. A lot of traffic yeah. out front. Lakeville South in the corner now. Julia do a little hack job. Lakeville South turned up back to the point again. There's the shot, the tip just goes wide. Puck in the corner. Out front, Lakeville South behind the net. They're looking. It's Back to the point again. The kick, they can't get up right the on ice. net. Oh, 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 the puck oh, oh. is a high stick. That's a high stick. No call. Here comes Crockett. Oh, Crockett had a chance right up the middle. It's picked off from behind. Lakeville South turns it around. And Bozak with the hit. Barger just trying to clear the zone. Knocks it out. Just trying to get the chip there. Oh, we got a wave of one there. Lakeville that's South. Nice, that's nice. That's going to be icing. Lakeville South down deep. That was that was not a good shift by Egan there. That was that uh, they got they got all worked down low there, and, and, and our wings are down so low that the defense their defense are getting the puck and they have time to look and they're just picking at the net or going down deep. I'd like, to see, I'd like to see our wings cover those points a little, little bit tighter. And a lot of traffic in front out yes, there. Yes, that was that was uh, we didn't pick it up there. There's a draw, one by Lakeville South, the defenseman racing down. That's Kyla Orr. No relation to Bobby Orr. Number four goes coast to coast, and it just goes right through the crease. Luckily, it didn't make it in. Yeah, we're, we're, we're running around. We're south. just throwing the puck here, Tony. We got to settle down. Got to start playing like we played a little bit last period. Here's Mason. Maddie Mason controls. D to D. Got to get Back center. Back to Center's got to go. give him an outlet. Up the stiff. Now he's stiff playing the second period. 
Flick us out, dumped it right back in, and we got a break there. Oh, McKinnon's got a break. The pass is just behind her. Puck is knocked to the side. Here comes Lake South. Moving up. They're breaking out. Pass too far, and V's there to knock it back and throws it right back down. It's going to be a right on net. That's yeah, going to freeze it. All right. We'll take, we'll take that. that face off. We'll take that face off in, in the offensive zone anytime. I think Kayla was maybe looking for Taylor in the, up the middle there, but it was, uh, she wasn't there, but he put it right on the goal. Like, we'll take it. Kayla Breeze sees the ice so well. Yeah, she's the defense a beast. That's she's, off yeah, she's just taking over right from soccer into hockey, and she's. She's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Taylor Anderson good, with the draw. Good draw by Taylor. She gets it back. Maddie's got to get that off quicker. She had, she had time to get that to the net if she snapped that off. There's Ruiz behind the net. Back in the corner. Taylor Anderson with it. Ruiz with the puck now. And go. Taylor Anderson pokes Bella. it. She's got it behind the net. She's turning. She looks. Takes a look. And she just cycles it back. Jenna Ruiz with the puck. Jenna just cycles it back. Behind the net's Weaver. Weaver, who's already got two goals tonight. Weaver gets back to the point. Ruiz with the shot. Good, good cycle. Keeps it in. She turns. She just dumps it down. Lake Los House controls. Right in, right in, right in, Maddie. Right in and go get him again. There we go. Keep the, Fires keep it right the heat back on down. Him. Keep the heat on him. Get there. Get there, Bella. A little slow to the puck, and Lakeville South breaks out. Lakeville South now loses the puck, but it goes into the zone. Maddie Mason punches it in the corner. Lakeville South up front. Ooh, it's right no, up the oh slot. No. The D picks it up. Right down Broadway, the shot, and a big pad save. By that was a, boy, she had momentum too. She was gonna rip it. Oh, here comes Kayla Bree. She's got some speed. You know what she can do? Here she goes across the red line. Someone get across to the, net. the blue Someone line. Get to the, net. the quick snapshot and saved by the goal. Lakeville South, down in the corner. Okay, we're gliding here. All, all three of our forwards are gliding there, watching their D. They gotta go to them. Rozak dumps it down deep. That did not cross. It's no ice. No offside. Get there. Ah. There's Barger keep loses it in, the keep puck. It in. There we go. Good and, job, Taylor. And they make the line change. We've got the two Bargers out there in Conkite. Lakeville South just knocking the puck in the middle. There's Rozak over to Brooke Poplinski. Poplinski. Oh, the nice saucer awesome pass to Barger. Barger knocks it down deep. Going after it, we've now got two players. Now they're going. Now they're going. There's Cronkite. Gets it up to Barger. We've got four players in there now coming away with it. It is. Crockite with the puck. Crockite, oh, she tried a little toe drag, couldn't get past. Pinching again as Rozak, who does that so well. She pinches it again, gets it to Crockite. Get there, get there, get the there, get there. Lakeville South cycles it. Here they go. They try to get it past. Rozak. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got speed. There's Barger. Barger, the long shot, and the rebound. The rebound it's, it's loose. Wow, that goalie did not track that one very well, not did she? That was just a long wrist shot from below at the blue line, and she dropped it. I don't think she there. ever did have it covered there. It was a much better shift by uh, Abby Barger's line there, much better. They had a little more jump in there. That's what they need to do all the time. Get it down and grind. Let's see what Savannah's line can do here. They got Mallory Stiff on the wing here, right? Yep, Mallory Stiff on the right wing, and we've got Hennessy on the left wing. 10.07 left in the second period, still 2-1 to one Egan. The draw won by Lakeville South. Oh, and, and it's that Orr kid. Yep, no relation good, to Bobby Orr, gets it up to number 20. She crosses the line, the shot, pushed away to the side by Maddie Nichol. Good rebound by Maddie, right into the corner. There's 20, the rebound. It goes short side. Nice and job, Maddie, nice job, Maddie. Flashing that leather, she holds on. Shots on goal, 14 to 12 for South. Dan's not, Dan's quick to put that first line back out there, but that's, that's, that's the name of the game, right? You get those two top lines, yeah. let them go. Big draw, Anderson. let's see what, if, if uh, Taylor can get this left draw back. Nope, one by Egan South. The shot knocked Good. down by Jenna Reese. Good play by Jenna Reese there. Puck in the corner. Right to South. Brooke Kowalski, Jenna Reese. Got to Reese. Yeah. Off to Rozak. Puck gets deflected. No icing. That's all right, we'll take that. I don't know why not. Oh, picked off. Come on. Out front. Weaver trying to make that pass to Anderson. Just couldn't get it to her. Comes back as Lakeville South. The backhand goes wide. Lakeville South in the corner. Picked off by Taylor Anderson. She's got some speed. She's taking a look. Take off, Taylor. She's going to go off, wide. Uh, go to the net, Bells. She goes right down the slot. Knocked out in front. And it goes to the side of that. Lakeville coming back. 
The saucer pass. Uh, oh, 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 a hit her helmet. That's a, a crazy bounce. That almost turned into a breakaway. Rosette gave that forward the, out, the inside yeah. there. She got lucky. Here comes Barger. Abby Barger loses the puck, but kept in by Genoese. Lakeville crosses the red line. They just dump it down deep. Going after is Rozak. Rozak being chased. Oh, she gets a little bump from nice behind. Nice play by Rozak. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shoots it around. Here's Cronkite. Emily Cronkite, wrong one player. It's got room. We got room. The backhand pass. Touch pass. Up touch to Rozak. pass. Here's Rozak. Up the blue line. Drive in the Rosie. slot. She takes a shot. Save. Up the side of the net. Gets past Cronkite for control by Abby Barger. Barger tries to get down deep. Cut off, the south pulse, cut off the pulse, Julia. Puck goes in the corner. Yeah. Abby keeps it in, down good the ship. corner. Couple good shit by the Wildcats here, right down the Lakeville zone. Attacking, always moving the feet. Right there, oh, right down that. the that's middle. Take up the pulse chance, like yeah. that, that's what happens yeah. right there, Tony. Yeah. That's a gutsy move. Lakeville South and a long pass, breaking on the side. Back is Mason, Mason forces her wide. Goes around the net. Back to the point again. Up the slot, over to the other D. She controls. Puck comes loose. Mason just knocks it out of the Egan zone. 7.27, less than the second period. There's that Orchid again around one player. He's got to go through her right there. He just, he just gave her the stick. She's got to go through She's her. She's going wide. She steps up close. She tried to go short side. And Maddie Nichols with another save. Lakeville South controlling the most part of the second period here. Yeah, they sure have. It's been in our zone, seems like. Shots are 14-13, but it's, it seems it like seems the, the ice is tipped our way. Or keeps the puck in. Try to get knocked out. Yeah, I mean, Cronkite. Cronkite are still out there. This is a long shift. A long shift. We've got Hennessy's can't. out there to help. There's Mason over to Hennessy. No. Hennessy makes the pass. Over to Breeze, but coming away with it is Abby Barger. Abby Barger going wide. Get the net. Abby takes a look, goes out front. Oh. It's Split City out front. And Lakeville turns around. They've got a pass. It's just too far, but she touched it. No icing. With the puck, it's Brooke Kublinski. Brooke. Nice, nice reverse there, Brooke. Back to Rozak. Rozak. Again, in the skates. That's got to be on her stick. On her and stick, and we're out. And Lakeville just dumps it right back down. Lakeville now coming away with it in the corner. Taking a look, going around the net, out front. They Freeze just screw it, out front. Oh, there's carnage everywhere. Yes. Four or five bodies down. And Maddie Nichols hangs on. Maddie's doing a nice job of nets tonight. She's kind of keeping us in it. 15 shots already. We're halfway through the game. Coach Wilson running those two lines back and forth. They got to be getting gassed. Now you'd be surprised, though. They, you know, they. Here comes Taylor Anderson, wins the draw. Back to Rozak. To Brooke Kuklinski. There we go. Brooke coming up. Up the sideboards. Kicked off by Lakeville. They just dump it right back down. Back is Rozak. Rozak moves it up. To Weaver. Weaver pushes it back. Rozak. Doesn't seem like Lakeville's really forechecking. They're just they're, they're kind of like playing a zero-man forecheck. There's no one on us, and they're just covered back here. She almost have her, her D skated there. Here we go. Look oh, at Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Anderson Dangle. a couple of one more. Oh, oh, she went for the toe drag and just missed. But she regains the puck. Go, Look at out front. There's Weaver. Boom. She gets it back to Rozak. Oh, oh a huge save. Nice a play. huge play by Anderson back to Rozak. Nice dish by Taylor. Good idea by Rosie, right? Going to the net there. And she, she went up the top shot. shelf. Yes. The best place to go. Yep. Good stop by the Lakeville goalie. Good play all around. I like it. Taylor makes things happen like that with oh, her speed and oh. her quick hands. And she sees the ice so well. Yep. So she wins the draw. Weaver. Over to Rozak again. Dumped it down deep. There's Jenna Ruiz. Jenna. She's looking. In the high slot. She hangs on to it. And she just dumps it in the corner. There's Taylor Anderson again. Taylor takes a look. One player on her. She gets away from her. Shakes her off. She's looking. She spins. The long pass over to Brooke Pavlinski. Brooke got Bell in front, got Bell in up. front. Knocked down. Buck in the corner. Good shift, good here shift go. by this line right here. This is their third Reeves. shift, good shift in a row. These guys are dominating late right, right. That's what you like to see. There's Weaver back in the corner. Jenna Reese gets it over to Weaver. Weaver dumps it back down deep. There's Jenna. She's controlling behind the net. Pinching with Rozak. 
Oh, and it gets past oh, this her. This is not good. This is not good. But Brooks Barbara here. Key. Brooks here to smack it back down. Partner. There's Brooke. Gain Middle it. of the line Gain change. It. She's got three players on her. She gets taken down. No call. Last Puck man here. Loose. Last man, Rozak. You got one on you. Who's going to have to touch it up? And coming away, there's Brooke. Brooke, Brooke making a long pass. Oh, she almost had Abby Barton. And Lakeville's going to stop. Make the save. Right. Go back and forth here, Tony. But it's you know it's a good game. They got three in the first period, nothing here in the second. Just back and forth. Good chances, both both teams. Wildcats have had a nice couple of shifts here. I like it. Well, what's the, why is it outside? Offsides, I take it, huh? This call? call was offsides. I don't know why it's on the outside. It must have been Happy Barger must have been offsides there. I don't, I don't know. Didn't look like it, but. Yeah, it's Mason. Mason just flipped it down get there, deep. Get there, get Racing there. after it. That's what I like. When you dump it like that, you got to go. Julia gets playing tough first hockey, over to Abby. Legs. Abby out front tries to go at a goofy angle. You never know. It's Abby hanging onto it. The flip pass. Over to Cronkite. There we go. Cronkite gets it down to Julia. Julia out front. There's Abby. Oh, right in front. Rayfield, there's a shot. Oh, Julia's taken down from behind. No call. And Lakeville South controls. There's a shot. Maddie pushes it to the side. Cronkite gives it Nobody back. Nobody on, yes. Lakeville's not really pushing our defense. They're just kind of hanging back. Yeah, it's almost like a zero-man forecheck, and they're just taking away our wings. Here comes Here Cronkite, Cronkite on a chance up the side. Emily. Get to the net. Get to the net. And the shot. And saved by the goalie. Pitch again is Reeves. Reese keeps it in. Some help from Cronkite. Like the South going the wrong way. They're trying to break out. Here they come. They cross the rather. Got a three on two. two. On the odd man rush, I think, was caused by it, the change in lines. And the puck goes through the crease. Here comes McKinnon. McKinnon. Oh. Up Julia, and she knocks it down. I don't know if she want to do that ice or what. That's got to be a soft yeah. touch. You got to, you, if you want to, you want to clear the zone. That's fine, but you do it, do it in a way where it's only going to come to about the blue line or a little bit inside the blue line. Maybe she's just gas and she want. I don't, I don't like defensive zone faceoffs like this. No. But we got Savannah McKinnon taking the draw. Let's see how Savannah can do here. Come on, Savannah, get that back. Again, Stoffer from Lakeville. Nice. And McKinnon nice wins draw. the draw. Nice draw, Savannah. She's doing a good job on draws. Brooke spins around, spins again, up to stiff. Just battling with the puck, and Brooke comes away with it. Wiski crosses the red line. She tried to break through the D, couldn't make it. She fouls it up. Lakeville with the puck now. I like to see Brooke Poplinski skate the puck. She's as good as anybody. And they just knock it right back down. Rozak. Two minutes left in this second period. Egan still up, two to one. Nice job by the third line here. here comes Hennessy. Hennessy misses the puck. Here comes Lakeville South. Lakeville dumps it down again. Going after it. Here's Rozak. Nice out. Up just to touch Weaver. It, here comes Weaver it, now. Touch it. Weaver coming out. She's got McKinnon on her left. Weaver with a shot and the save. Not much she could have done about that. That's about the only thing she could do. McKinnon went to the net, but the, de the defense had her covered. So go to the net, get the line changed, and uh, a little under two minutes here, see if we can't get another one. And we've got Taylor Anderson, our best faceoff drawer, right here. Let's see where Taylor's trying to go. Uh, maybe over to Maddie. Looks like she might try to bring back to Maddie Mason. And there it is. Nice, nice, quick. Back. Mason with the one. Tip oh, the tip. Oh. Oh. Taylor Anderson just tipped it wide. Here's Weaver. Weaver trying to get back to Taylor. Just didn't make it. But nice, Bella nice controls it. Bella. Racing after it is Bella Weaver. Over to Anderson. Anderson with the puck. Oh, front. Oh, it's right in the skates of Bella Weaver. She just couldn't find it. Lake LaSalle's coming down and knocked up that's, by Matt Anderson. That's, that's offside. Off it's no, offside. No. We, we waved we, it off. We pulled it off sides. Jenna Reese pulled, went into the zone with it. Here it comes, going after Reese. Come on, Jenna. Come on, Jenna. Here we go. And Lakeville back in their zone. Here comes Lakeville. They got another three on two. Across the blue line, right up the slot. There's the shot, a lot of traffic out front. And Maddie Mace is there to block it. Out front, around the net, with the puck. It's Taylor Anderson, one minute left in the second period. Another odd man Anderson. rush, Tony, I don't like it. Someone's out of position when they're doing that. And a nice soft pass over to Jenna Weiss. Get to the net, get to the net, 50 seconds here. Jenna just tries to get it down low. 
They go. Here comes that orchid again. She's done several rushes up the middle. Here she goes again. Off to the side. Got to be smart here. Out front. Got to be smart. The last and minute of the game here. We don't want to give one up. And Lethal keeps the puck in. Cronkite's there. Maddie Mason. Cronkite comes away with it. And gets it up to Taylor Anderson. She's got a little bit of room. Taylor, yeah, Taylor's been out there a while. So I think she's kind of gassed. Here, here comes Lakeville around the side. She tries a short side. And a big blocker save by Maddie Nichols. The puck yep. comes out. Lakeville South now. Picked off by Abby. Eight seconds. It's Abby. Shot. It's going to hit this That's netting. Good. Four seconds left. Well, still two to one here. Shots are, what, 17 16. Just like last was 9 8 last game or last period. Now it's 17 16. Very evenly matched game. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always like this with Lakeville. It's always really close and it kind of comes down to the end. The oh, look through. at that. Oh, it almost yeah, trickled Abby's in. Abby's right handed it, so she went to the net there. God, it would have been nice if we could have popped that one in. And Emily Cronkite, go off, first go off a pad and right Emily bang, bang it in there. She's going to try the same thing. Yeah, they're, they're, they they're not They knew better. Oh, that. she gives it back to Mason. Oh, and Mason <laughs> hits the side of the net. Eddie <laughs> Mason almost got one there. Maddie's got, Maddie's got that quick release. When she lets her go, she flies, but uh, just off target a little bit. All right, there's the end of the second period. I like I like that one better. I like that period better, Tony. It's, it's two to one, but I, I thought we had much more jump on our legs. We had a couple of bad shifts there, but I'd say the majority of the game, or more of that majority of that period was down in the offensive zone. And we were cycling it down, we were looking our heads up, we were going to the net. Much better period. Okay, what are they gonna talk about in between periods this time? I, I, I would, I would, I'm sure Dan will just say, continue what we were doing that last period. We gotta stop the odd man rushes though. I mean, it was probably five, six, seven, eight, you know, three on two, two on ones. Someone's out of position when it's like that. You know, someone's got to be back. You, you never should, you, you should, you should always, you should always have your, your uh, third person high in the, in the offensive zone so they can help out the D. Sure. But you do get caught, you know, changes, things like that, but uh, way too many odd man rushes. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt us if we, if we uh, keep giving those up. So how long is Lakeville South gonna take with it, play the same type of style of? I don't, you know, I in, 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 they're not really forechecking. No, they're, they're not they're, at all. They're just, they're just kind of, they're letting, they're, they're, they're they're covering our wings in our center. So like Brooke, like Brooke Poplinski just skated it out, you know? And then if someone releases the come to Brooke, then you just, this is that person that opens up. But yeah. I don't know, it, it's kind of a, you know, you normally do that when you're up by a one or two goals. That's you know, why you, you, just kinda, you, you play defense, but I don't know. That's, uh, it, it right. just seems like they're not really going gangbusters on the four check. All right. Well, that's it. And the two periods. Two to one. You get up two to one. We'll see you in a few. Back for the start of the third period. You can Wildcats up two to one against Lakeville South. Two goals by Bella Weaver, two assists by Taylor Anderson, and a great job of goaltending by Maddie Nichols. Our next game will be Saturday against the Hastings Raiders. JV starts at 4, and I believe the varsity starts at 6.30. The referees are blowing the whistle. Joining me again for this third period is Mark Barger. Here we go, here we go. 2-1. Good game. Our next ETV game will, of course, be announced by Rick Shriver, voice of Eden Girls Hockey. Rick is at the Wild game tonight. Apparently, he is hanging out with Bob Kurtz and Tom Reed. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He talked to Jeff Reese. Jeff Reese gave him the night off, and Jeff Reese says, Rick's got the face for radio. Here we go. <laughs> and the next game will be on the 30th. Here OK, we here we go. We got our Start first line out there period. with Kayla and uh, uh, Maddie Mason. Maddie Mason. And controlling in the middle. It's Lakeville South. They dump it down. Oh, the yeah, Generese. And up front. No, 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 Two no. Two shots. Ooh, ooh. There's a lot of water Nichols. build up just in that zone, too. They need to wait. A lot of, lot of uh, puddles out there. 
That wasn't good. Lakeville had a good chance oh. there, Matty. She got she got her pad on it there. The quick whistle by the ref, but it was still sitting there. That's okay, we'll take that quick whistle down there. Well, all right, big draw in the defensive yeah. zone here. Taylor's got to get her back. Yeah, nice draw. draw. Beautiful draw. Matty Mason. Or ah. the Kayla Breeze. Bounced on her. Or the Reese. Controlling the puck in the corner. It's and Taylor Anderson. Taylor. She's battling with it, and she comes away with it. Kayla, Someone's oh, he's give. looking. She tries to make the long pass, gets knocked down in front. Strong Kayla. Kayla, <laughs> Kayla just held that girl <laughs> off with her stick. Here comes Bella Weaver now. Bella's got Coming some up the side. Weaver going down deep in the corner. She stops. Going after Jenna Reese. Jenna now, she takes a look. She there dumps it back, cycling. Let's keep it down here now. Let's keep it down there. And Lakeville just dumps it out. Mason, a little spin around. Coming away with it. Jenna Reese, here comes Jenna. She just dumps it down, and we're going to change him up. Here comes that second line, the Barger girls, and Emily Cronkite. Here comes Lakeville. The long oh, pass picked off. Read. Come on, come on, Cronk. Come here on, Cronk. Cronkite. Cronkite looks. Dumps it in the corner. Going after his Barger. Lakeville tries to clear back down by the ref. Ooh, we got lucky and there. Here comes Pablinski. Pablinski up to Cronkite. Cronkite crosses the blue line. Tried to get it back to Brooke, just couldn't handle it. Over to Rozak. Rozak dumps it down, knocked down again, and it's going to be offsides. Oh, there and goes a the broken stick. stick. There's another $150. Yeah, it's always fun to look at the uh, dads after, <laughs> after someone breaks a yep. stick. They kind of cringe. It's like uh, Rozak was just trying to keep, the, just keep it in the zone there, and she snapped her stick. And I don't believe we have a contract with Bauer. I, I, I wish we did. Yeah. Here's the draw. There's Abby Barger. Abby controls. Knocks it down. Lakeville behind the net. Shoots it up the side. Controlled by Julia Barger. She carries the puck in. A quick shot. And a save by the goal. Abby picks it off. Puck's laying out front. Get that crowd. down. We're going to change up. Into the Egan zone. They go. got. Here comes our third line. There's Hennessy out there. He's your partner. There you go. He's a partner. Brooke Kamlinski. Gain the zone. Up. Here's McKinnon. McKinnon crosses the line. McKinnon with the shot. Right on. They got Carly Mars on that uh, wing this period. Puck gets knocked up. And Breeze just chops it right back in the corner. Now attack, now attack, guys. Don't glide, don't glide. Two to one still. Here comes Lakeville South. Good back check Dumped by Carly Marsh. Behind the net. Coming around, still with the puck, back to the point. Here's Orr with the shot, just goes wide. She had a girl down low. Down in the corner, it's Lakeville. Rozak takes her player out. McKinnon picks the puck she's got, up. She's got some ice there. She's McKinnon. got some ice. McKinnon around one player. She comes back on her Come stick. On Come on, Sav. There and you she go. just dumps Good it play. down. Good play by Savannah. Good break out there. And they change it up. Here pick that, pick that. And it is picked off. But Orr hangs out with the puck. Good back Orr. check by Reese. Orr loses the puck, but it ends up on a Lakeville stick. And they just fired in the corner. Rozak. Uh. Loses the puck. Lakeville south in the corner. A little spinorama. She's looking. Out to the point. Oh, oh, There's oh. a shot. Is it tipped? Oh, it's knocked down by Taylor Anderson. Anderson gets it to Rozak. And she fires it back around. So now look at this goofy. They're not really four checking. They don't even go. I mean, they just sit there. Just sit. Just sit. There Trip that clock. Yeah. Clock's our friend right now. Touch it, There's Miller. There we go. With the touch pass. Gets it up to Watch Jenna. Oh. Just outside of reach. Lakeville trying to go up the that middle. Should be nice. That should that be, should nice, be nice. nice. No, they're not waving it off. Uh, no, Bring yeah. her back. 12.51. Kayla was the near there, period. but she, she was kind of going the other way. So that's that's legit ice. We got uh, we'll take it. 20 to 17. Got Abby's line. See if they can get a couple shots on net here. See if we can't uh, tickle the twine. There you go. Abby Bark with the draw. Yeah. Controlled by Lakeville. Behind the net. Oh, nice pass. Here comes Lakeville. Come up the side. Barger with the back checking. Works a little stick work there. It hits 
Abby Barger. Abby Barger knocking up to Julia. Through the Barger. Gets a pass to Cronkite. Get to the Cronkite, net. Get a little to the drop net. pass. Julia Barger take it down from behind. No call. Lakeville comes away with it. Right in the skates. Goes through their player. Partner, there we go. And Maddie Mason. Stick Back to stick. To stick to stick. There. Pass. There we go. Coming up the side of Sparger. Trying to get up to her sister. And we've got the puck controlled by Mason. Or to Cronkite. Cronkite Trip. is tripped. They got it. They got it. Yeah, they, they got, got it. it. They got it. Here we go. There's the whistle. All right. Let's see a little power play. Actually, we, we, got, uh, we get two power play goals or just one? Just, just one. the one. Just the one, yeah. So that should be all the way in the offensive zone. Morgan Albrecht. All the way down. Here we go. Gets called for tripping. And they, uh, Bobby Marsh is supplying candy for the crew. Yeah, I guess we'll take some Bobby candy Marsh. Here, but Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. All pick right. something all lucky. Here's a draw now. Two minute penalty. All right, these guys are rested too, so this is this should, we should get some shots here, Tony. There's a draw. Controlled by Egan. Brooke has got Brooke. it. Brooke gets it down in the slot. Taylor Anderson tried to go short side, saved by the goalie. Jenner Reese with the puck. Back to Taylor Anderson. Anderson takes a slap shot, just goes wide. Kayla Reese, back to Brooke Pavlitsky. Brooke, over to Anderson. Anderson was looking to wind up. Nice. Oh, the back door again, and Reese just missed Kayla, it. Kayla sag down there, that was nice. He just the one-timer, fanned on it, and Lakeville clears it to the mid zone. The player tries to a toe drag, and Brooke Brookie there. Brookie didn't need the one time there. She had time there. She had time. She could have she caught that one taking a look, but Here comes Brooke now around she's one wheeling. Player. Goes up the side. She stops. Back to Teal Anderson Good at puck point. Movement here. Move, little move. Back to Pavlinski. Oh, she just mishandled the pass, but gets it back to Anderson. Anderson with a shot. No, it's a pass to Breeze. Breeze on the short side, just misses. Come on, come on, come on. Got one minute left. Tries to clear it. Get there, Bella. Get there, Bella. Ooh. And Bella Weaver. Nice job, off. Bella. Keep it in. Breeze gets oh. it down. Come on, Brooke. On the come on, side. Pavlinski gets rid of the board, but controls it in there the corner. Go. Walk it out. Walk it out. She walks it right on out front. And oh, oh, take it out there was from nobody behind. There. It was Bella Weaver pushed into the net. Yeah, uh, Jenna Reese looked up and there was no one there. She, <laughs> she walked, walked right, right out to the front of the net. I don't Cameron know what happened Keith to their defense, but... Great shot of that one. Thanks, Keith, for the great view of that picture. All right, so now you got the second power play and you got about 40 seconds left. You don't have as much time, so you just right. set it up, get Here's into the, the points and get some shots here. Uh, Lakeville comes away with it. Some back checking. They knock it in. Cronkite's yeah. got to hustle to beat the Lakeville player. And she turn does. Turn and go, turn and go. Here beat her on speed. Cronkite, she's got some speed. She's wheeling. Crunchy, she goes down deep. She's taking a look. She goes behind the net. Oh, she gets it back to the point. Mason, she likes to shoot. There's Cronkite. Back to Mason. Mason, there's the shot. Oh, right on net. No rebound there. If you're going to shoot, you got to keep it away from the glove there. It's a good shot by Maddie. Forward's got to get in front of that. I don't, I, I don't know if they're there, but they got to get. They got to get her eyes. She had too good of a view that time. Abby nice, nice draw. draw. The Mason again a one timer right on that. Good, good boot by the goalie there, right into the corner. Keep two people on the puck here. Two Barger. Three seconds left in the power play. Oh, lucky hit the ref. All right, well, some good chances there. Cronkite Cronk. flips her down. We're changing up our forwards. Abby Barger staying out. There. Oh, and Abby Barger steals it. Badly for the puck. Going after Stiff. The puck gets past Rozak. Rozak. You gotta go. Over to Mason. Mason back to Rozak. Rozak makes a pass over to Stiff. Just misses it. Lakeville crosses. Lakeville going down low. The Lakeville player still with the puck. She comes out through. front there we and go. picked there we go. off by Stiff. Stiff with oh. the pass. Let us see. Put that on the stick, guys. And Lakeville controls in the mid zone. The pass intercepted by Rozak, but oh, oh, Lakeville oh, oh, comes oh, oh, away oh, with it. piece of Maddie. Lakeville and Maddie ooh, Mason. Ooh, 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 that's penalty. She yeah. takes her down. I don't know if she did that or not, but yeah, she got her stick there. Got it, wrapped her up. Just hope they don't give her a penalty Crash shot. Crash into the net, and Lakeville All right. South will go on First the power, power play. play. Let's see what we got here. Penalty kill. Taylor Anderson's rested. He's got Taylor and uh, Reese coming out. Brooke and, uh, Brooke and Kayla, so. 
We got our gunners out there. And all with Jenna Reese and Keeler Anderson, they got some Here plays they can do. Here was, yeah, <laughs> Maddie, it's a, that's a good play by Maddie. Actually, she got the puck there. She got the puck and she got the player. I don't know. Questionable call by these referees. So we got two minutes to kill here. I, th I think the uh, their coach is lobbying for a penalty shot here. I don't know if she was on a full breakaway or not, but. Uh, he's giggling about it. Here we go. Lakeville's got two on the right side here. Probably trying to set it up to four. The other one's blocking. Hmm. Lakeville comes away with it at the point. Kept in. Hanging sticks on. on the ice, active Order sticks, or. active sticks on the ice. The shot, a lot of traffic in front. Lanes here. Tipped wide. Here comes Orr, Orr again. 28, gets to the post. Oh, and a bad pass. Bumper gets behind the net, and Lakeville controls. Sticks on the ice. In the corner. There we go, there we go. Looking. Here comes Lakeville, back in the corner again. Egan staying in the box. It gets out front, oh, a nice pass out to the point. There's a shot, a lot of traffic out front. Just goes wide. Lakeville controls, a little cycling. Oh, 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 and Brooke Pablinski's gonna go. And they're gonna let the touch the puck. That's a whistle though. Oh, Brooke Pablinski got called for roughing? Nope, you Okay, so we're gonna have, we're gonna be five on three for a minute 18. This is not good. I don't know if Brooke checked her, he just kinda ran into her, that girl just fell. I don't know if we can run that back, All but. Right. Keith Dahl, did you get that one for us? They got that one. All right, so we got five on three. Right, we got Taylor and Kayla and, and Rozak. Rozak out there. All right, so you, you, you set up in a triangle. You give them oh. the outside shots. Maddie's going to have to make a few saves here because they're going to get some shots. We and gotta, how huge we gotta, is this we gotta, draw? He, the draw is very huge. If we could get it down, you know, that, that'll take care of about 18 to 20 seconds right there. Uh, to set up in a triangle, keep the outside. Now we're trying to get a replay here. I think that's probably what Dan's drawn up right there is make sure we get the, the, the face off so we can clear it right away. We don't want to set it up because they, you know, they get one right away. They're still on a power play. So what so, are they going to do? Are they going to crash the net? What, what, what's Lakeville going to do right I, now? I don't know. I, I think that it looked like they kind of set it up to their D and they just kind of walk it to the middle and shoot. They didn't, they didn't really set anything up yet. You know, they're only on it for about a 40-second 40, 40 power play there, so it's hard to tell what they're doing. But... I don't know. This is a, this is a tough situation here for the girls. We got to we got to fight through it. Five on three here. Taylor's fast. So you got you got to get your sticks in the lanes. All the sticks got to be on the ice. I always had I always had my players block the shot with their bodies and take away the lanes with their sticks. So you got two options there with your body and your stick, and you move your stick around. And you try to guess where they're going with it. Frustrate them. Let's we'll see what happens here. It's a long time out. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. All right. It's they a got, big draw. They got, they got to fight through this. They got to get the draw back, ice it, and then muck it up. Slow things down. And there's a, there's that Orr kid. She's been playing quite well at Kyla Orr. Yeah, number four. Good player. We got Kayla. Taylor, we do, have our, we do have our timeout in Rosak. Got to get this draw, though. And it's controlled by Lakeville. All right. They held on to the puck. Kayla's out of position. There we go. Set They're up walking the it up. Take the outside. Look. Maddie's going to have to make some saves. There's a shot. A lot of traffic out front. And a uh, save by Nichols. But Lakeville go. controls. Lakeville setting up again. Okay, oh, and a one. bad get pass. Up, get, get out. Oh, I almost went there out of the One minute left on oh. five on three. They're interfering oh. with their goalie. They're in the blue there. Going after it is Rees. Gets past her. Lakeville controls again. They get the play up front. Nichols up, with the save. Up, up, up. Lakeville controls up. again. Rolls up. You really Push don't want to tie yourself up either. We got two players in front all right, now. That's all right. There we go. There's a shot to deflection. There's bodies are down. There's carnage everywhere. Boy, that and number, Maddie Nichols has the puck. Number four was number four was like a pitchfork on a Maddie. Nothing. The rest should be talking to her right there. All right, we killed 30. We killed, we're down to 34 seconds. If we get a, if we get if we can get it out of the zone, I mean, got Abby up front now. If we can get it out of the zone, that'll kill about 20 seconds. You got to get this draw, though. We have nope. nobody back to ice, and nope. she won that draw, but there's no one there. Over there. Lakeville controls at the blue line. Taking a shot. Nope. They hang on. All back right. to the high That's slot. Right. There's a shot and a huge block oh, by Abby hurt. Barker, but she's hurt. She's down. There's a shot. And they blow the whistle. 
Abby that looked Barger like, yeah, that looked, that looked like a rib. That looked something, somewhere in the midsection. Let's see if Hall got that one on camera. I don't know. Should be all right. Get up, Al. Oh, we got someone else going off. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. They're just helping the, the trainer out there. That scared me. I thought we had two I thought Taylor up. Anderson was yes. coming off the ice, right. too. Yeah, that was just a stinger. I think that would be okay. Right. She's okay. She's oh, a she's, tough kid. She's staying on the ice. All right. So, oh, so she's got to go off because the trainer came on. So, we got 17 seconds left here, Tony. This draw is huge. If, if she can pull it straight back between her feet, then Rozak has a chance to get over there and, and, and hammer it out of the net. There's no one back there to ice it, right? Because yep, we got yep. the two people oh, on the side. Oh, she tried to clear it. Just miss it. All right, we need there one go. clear here. We got 14 seconds left. Grab the slot, the there shot. We there we go. There we go. by Vries. 10 seconds left. Oh, Vries oh, now we got one down low. On one. A big save by Nichols. The rebound. There's bodies flying all over the place. Huge. Matty had a huge. Taylor Anderson clears the zone. Awesome. And that's going to kill the first period. Did you see that <laughs> little extra effort by Matty Nichols? The puck was laying there, and she dove out and just flicked it with her stick away from the Lakeville goalie, uh, Lakeville player. Huge play right, by Matty Now we got 30 Nichols. seconds off. It's five on four. It's more doable, right? We can manage this. Keep it to the outside. Let him shoot. Let him shoot from the outside. Matty's doing a nice job. They stop. Down. Use your hope. sticks. Here we go. You got out, in the box. It yes. bounces out. That should almost do it. Mm -hmm. Unless they quickly set up, that should almost do it. Staying on it is Jenna Reese. Jenna Reese, stay with her. Taylor Anderson rubs her in the boards and no call. We've got oh, a breakaway here. Oh, the Reese <laughs> had him wide open. I don't, think, I don't think Jenna knew it was around her because she just iced it, what she was supposed to do, but she was gonzo. Nice and kill. Egan nice kills. kill. They got out of it with nothing. A two penalties. And a lot of times what happens is the momentum switches. Let's see if he can capitalize. All right, that's a big kill, big, big kill. Come away, there's nope. Reeves, there we go. tipped uh, up that, by Jenna Reeves. That's gonna be a nice, that's gonna, gonna be a nice. make it, it's... Oh, it barely made it. Okay. 5.59 left in the third period. Look at the shots, 22-21. Typical Egan, Egan uh, Lakeville game. Close, 2-1, 3-2. Battling, battling, battling. That was, such, that was a, such a nice play by Maddie Nichol oh. there, though. She just dove and flicked it out with the <laughs> stick. Nice draw by Abby. Well, let's break and it Lakeville's out already used See their timeout. Look, look at nine's not going to our, their forwards aren't going to our D at all, which we can take advantage of. We're, we're winning, right? Yep, absolutely. Look at this. They're doing Let a zero them. four check and they're down. They're, they're coming back again. That's the way to do it. They're just Here picking up. Okay, let us come right up. Cronkite dumps it down low. That's it, Croc. Okay, with the puck. Barger out front, the oh. puck's sitting there. Croc had the backhand, and it just oh. goes wide. Julia Barger now with the puck. Cycles it back, picked off by Orr. She punches it up. Stick to stick, Blinsky. there we go, there we go. See how Matty important Mason. that stick to stick is, Tony? Yep. Yeah, there it is again. Flipped up again, it hits the player. And Maddie Mason controlling. Flips it up feet, for Barger. Feet, feet. Controlled by Julia Barger. Gotta get the Blitzky. Trying to knock the puck up. We got Julia Barger taking just on scrap, two. Just scrap, just scrap. That's it, and Bells. Bella Weaver comes in. Do a little pushing and shoving there. Here comes Lakeville. 440 left in the third period. Lakeville's gonna have to make something happen pretty quick here. And nice Taylor Anderson. Come on, Taylor, get on the inside of her. Riding into the boards. And picked off the drop pass for Jenna Reese. Jenna Reese. All right, all right. I don't like to take it back, but she's, she's sure. wheeling. She's got some room. She's got some speed. She crosses the line, crosses the red line. She's going down deep. Oh, she tried to do the torque. She's got a stick hooked up. And how is that not a penalty as she's holding on to the girl's stick? All right, this girl's, she's got mojo. Lakeville coming back. Good. Just get a piece Out of front. her, Maddie. Nice job, Maddie Nickel. And another save by Maddie Nickel. All right, we're down to four minutes, Tony, all right? Okay. Probably gonna use the top two lines. So you got about two shifts apiece, right? Yep. You win your shift, you win your shift, you win your shift, you win your shift, done. And Lakeville has already used their timeout, yep. so that's the Eagles so advantage. We, we can, yeah, we can use that too. We can rest players that oh, way. Sure. All right, here we go, three we on go, two. We got a three on An two. An odd man advantage for us for once. Because of drop Barger, drop to Barger, Just goes to the goal. Julie should have dropped that and, and covered the point. It sh she should have dropped it to Abby and then and then got in the way of the D so Abby could have shot there. She tried to dangle it. She didn't need to do that. We had the odd man rush. 
Those she sisters should know that. Player. Well, Abby should have been yelling at her. <laughs> Another thing the bargains will talk about over spaghetti tonight at home. <laughs> she didn't use the advantage there. All right. Okay, here's a big draw. All right. Four minutes to go here. Here comes Abby. The draw controlled by Egan. Julie McKeel just shoots it on net. Gets knocked to the side. Cronkite going after. Cronkite controls behind the net. Cronkite looking. Cronkite. Don't like. Drops this. it to Breeze. There we go. Keep it down low. That's it down low. Keep down it low down low. Abby. Cycle it down low. Oh, we got low. the two bargers back the, there. The, the clock is not the on. The clock's not on. The, whole, the clock's not on. That's. Yeah. You expect you're gonna run, that. You have to run some time off. <laughs> Bobby Marsh is yelling two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> two minutes. It was probably 15, 16 yeah. seconds. Because it would when we started down here, it was like 406, right? In our but, in our defensive zone. We went down, cycled it down. Yeah. It was only run 10 seconds off, not even that. So you know, you see that in Farmington, but you don't see that happen in well, Eagles. Yeah, that's uh that's <laughs> And how much time are they going to take off? I would say at least about eight or ten seconds, because she did let it run a little bit there. The Nichols are saying a minute, or oh, 25 seconds should come off. Why? Well, it, it, it. Okay. The Nichols say about a minute and a half should come off. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing from the Nichols. A minute and a half well, should come could, off. We could go to ETV and see how long it was, right? Oh, that's true. We could go to the replay. <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> We're just talking. Regardless, this gives Egan a chance to rest and a much needed yep. rest. Yep. Rest our lines. We can rest our D. 23-22 uh, shots on goal here. We're just kind of seeing what they're going to do. I imagine they'll probably run off 15 or 20 seconds. You, you know, there's no precise way to, but you got to waggle a little bit, right? Yep. Now they're down to 32 seconds. <laughs> we'll take that. No, oh, that's even better. I, I guess the nickels are right. So 325. <laughs> so what was it? What was it oh. before? So it's four. Oh. Yeah. So they took off a good uh, more than I they thought. They took about 30 seconds. Yep. That's All right. good. We'll take it. Yep. 325 left now in this third period. Well, Wilson now, thinks it should be a little bit more. Now you kind of got to change your mindset. You can go to the you can go to the goal and score, but. You want to keep it down low, right? Cycle it down below the goalie. So they got to go the length of the ice. If you cycle it up high and they pick it, boom, it's gone, right? Yep. So keep it down low behind the net. Keep it on, 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 on the uh, below the bottom of the circles. Cycle yep. it down low there. If you can go to the net, if you can feed the points, do it. That's kind of scary too, right? If it mm -hmm. skips the uh, stick, it's gone. So you want to play smart here. They're going to be pulling their goalies, too. Lakeville's used their time up, but they're going to probably want to pull their goalie with about a minute and a half left if it gets that far. So a minute and a half left? Right. we got to, we got to play our smart here. I don't know what the, what the conversation is. Maybe he's thinking that uh, it wasn't that much time. I don't think they'll change. I think this is useless talk, but they're not going to change the ref's mind to add more time, yeah. right? They can't do that. It's already been changed. All right, here we go. 325 left. This third period. And it's nice controlled drop. by oh. Barger. Barger puts it on the corner. It's a good play by Kayla. And they're going to do there, it. Just like smart. Mark suggested, keep that puck down low. Are we trying to just throw it at the goalie? You never know. Puck goes in the corner. Lakeful trying to break it. And Cronkite's there to well, knock it back in. Too much, too much. We got, our, we, got our, we got our center high, though, so hopefully we won't see any odd man rushes. Here comes Lakeville. Take that, take that blue line away Lakeville. from him. Control in the middle. There you go. There we go. Knocks it down. Good. Now deep. Barter now deep. knocks it up now to Crockett and Crockett. Good. Good. Gets right. it down at their end. Down to three minutes here, right? Pick that. Picked off. Nice. Jerry now Reese. Go to the net. Go to the net. Oh, she tried to get over to the Weaver looking for the Hattie. Bell, I have that back door too. Good, go. idea, good idea Gina by Gina. Jenna. And Bell. Mason. Mason just flips it on. Just misses the net. Puck that got. Oh, and. Big hit by Jenna Reese and no call. Puck to be controlled yeah. down the corner. Reese gets thrown down. Oh, they and got it's her. They got, her. they got it. It's Lakeville. Oh, bad penalty there for Lakeville. So that'll be two minutes. Going to be holding on Orr. 
And that Brooke is okay. not good if you're a late field south play. Here's a, here's a camera right here by Keith Dolan. I didn't, nice I job, didn't see Keith. that. So they're just mucking Wrapped here. Around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you oh. can't do that. Take down two. Down. So we got two minute power play, 217 to go. So you're working around. I, I would set up down low again. You don't want it to skip over the D. Set it down low. We don't have to score, right, to win the just game. Hang on, do yeah. But it'd be nice if we could bang one here. All right. The clock's starting. Like, there the, we go. The umbrella things are dangerous, too, when you got one person on top. I would set it up down low. Taylor Anderson, there we go. Got there we go. It. Two minutes left. Oh, the back door again, and oh, he's just missing it. Yeah, just fanned on it. It was a tough pass to handle. She had a little saucer to it. Taylor sure is dishing it tonight. Just hang on to it. Just keep it down low. No, I don't, I don't like Goes this. High. One Goes person only. There's Reeves with the shot right on that. So that's why. One person you're talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that, play, that, that umbrella with this type of uh, time left. Shoot it right on net, and it almost there got through. No, oh, no, no. Pavlinski oh, gets away with one. She, <laughs> she sure did. Here comes Reeves. She walked walk her time. in. She went five hole. The rebound. A two big save. Uh. All right, got 124. 24. We do have a timeout. If we want to call a timeout and leave our number one line out there, you know what I mean? Call a timeout, let him rest for 30 seconds, put him back out there. There's Coach Barter talking. They're going to let him skate. Yeah. They come to right, so minute 24. They got, they got jump. To draw, one by Egan. Back to the point. There's oh, Reeves. Yeah, okay, they, they, they switched out of the umbrella, which I like, because then he got two defense up. I don't know, they're back in it. They're back in the umbrella. They're, there's a shot on goal. Breeze holding on to it, and it just goes out of right. zone. That's all right. It's it, the clock is going down. Brooke, I would like to have a defenseman, another defenseman back there though. Yeah. There we go. One minute, minute left. Here comes Bella Weaver. She's got two. Looking for the Hattie. She hangs on to it. Goes down low to Reese. Reese up the slot to Anderson. Anderson the rifle. The goalie never Get saw in. it. And it's safe. Nets off. Nets and off. And the nets off. The oldest trick in the book when it gets a little hot and heavy down there. Somehow the net seems to pop off. They've been out there for a while. I would. And here we go. 44 seconds left. One thing nice about this is we're keeping it down there. They can't pull their goalie. Absolutely. There's the draw. Sit out front. It's just laying there. Taylor <laughs> Anderson picks it up. Over to Brooklyn. The, the shot. Just goes wide. There's five Taylor seconds. Reeves. Just, you know what? Reeves, just keep it down seconds. low. Yeah, we don't, we don't. Just keep it down low. We got 30 seconds. The puck sitting out front. It's going to pitch. No, just down low. Seconds. Just down low. There down we go. Low. All right, they're coming out of the box. He's coming out careful, of the box. Careful. You got to recognize that. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Here comes Layfield. They're, they pull in the goal. There's 15 seconds left. One clear. We need to clear. All right, there we go. There's a Brooke. Brooke, just get rid of it, Brooke. She's, eating it. She's, eating, it. She's eating it. She's eating it. She's eating it. That should take care of it. Kayla's not going to get away from her. No. <laughs> it's, a nice two, it's a nice win. It's a nice win. A huge win yeah, for Regan. a nice win. That's a big win. It's also a urban conference, and we haven't beaten Lakeville in a couple of years. So, Bell's, uh, all the scoring in the first period. All oh, done by got, Bella Weaver. Yeah, Bella got the two, and they got and one. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't know, Lakeville, they didn't, uh, they played a weird game. They didn't forecheck. They, they, they had a lot of chances. They had uh, 22 shots, but they had that zero man forecheck or something going that they just weren't pressuring our D. Hello? Well, take we'll the take win, it. right? Yeah, well, the win's a win, right? 3 0 with uh, two teams that are ranked in the top 20 in the state, Maple Grove and Lakeville Sol. So now we go on to Hastings and Apple Valley. So what hopefully we'll have a nice uh, start to the season. All right. Mark Mark Barger, it's been a pleasure. Maddie Thank Nickel. you very much. Yep. Good game. All right. And we'll see you guys final score. on the 30th. The final score, Egan Wildcats 2, Lakeville South Cougars 1.